Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVP Nets video series on binary search interview question series and this is question number 6 where we will talk about in order predecessor and successor of node in a binary search tree. So the point is if you have some binary search tree, so let's consider this one is your binary search tree then if you look at this, this is stored like this. We have 30, 40, 45, 50, then 70, 80 and 100, correct? Now if I ask you the predecessor of this one that is 45 and successor of 50 is this guy. So predecessor meaning the previous guy and the successor is like the next guy. And as this is sorted, we have to search for this 50 and then look for the predecessor and the successors. So for simplicity, if I ask like what is the predecessor for 40, then the answer is like 30 and 45 like the successor. So this is predecessor and this is successor for 40. Now how to find it? So let's take this as an example. You're looking for 50's predecessor and the successor. So the predecessor for 50 is 45 and the successor is 70. Do you see any pattern here? Yes. Actually if you're looking for predecessor for this guy then you have to go left only one time and then you have to keep on going in the right hand side till you find any node. Listen this carefully. If you are looking for the predecessor, then you have to go left one time and then keep on going for the right. Like, like this. Keep on going. Okay. You don't have to go to left here. Just the right. And the last node is going to be the predecessor of 50. Correct. Now the same in the reverse order. If you are looking for the successor, then in that case, you go right once and then you keep going left till you find nodes. Okay. So the last node what you will get in the left hand side, that node is going to be the successor of 50. This is clear. For predecessor, go left one time and then keep going right hand side. For successor, go right one time and then keep going to the left hand side till you find any node. This is clear, right? Okay. So this is case number one. You have seen that how to find it. Now there are some corner cases here. Let me explain those things. So for corner case, I have just removed this node and this node. Now see, if I am asking you, give me the predecessor of 40 now. It is very easy. You can see that, okay, this is 30 because you will try to go to left and then try to go to right, but you cannot uh, get anything. So you will basically return this only or say that, okay, this is your predecessor. What in case of the successor? You don't have anything in the right hand side, right? Then what? Now our first case is actually not working here because you cannot go to the right and then keep going left, 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 left. Correct? To avoid those things. And yeah, before going there, what is the successor for 40? Obviously 50. Now this is really very confusing. Like how would you go backwards and see which one is your successor? No, you don't have to go backward. Actually, if I ask you for 40, right? So we are looking for 40. So you will basically start from here only because this is your root. So you will go to left because 40 is less than 50. You will go to left. The moment you are going to the left, you will initialize. Yeah, we will have two variables, predecessor and successor. So when you are going to the left hand side, that time you will initialize successor with this. Okay, 50. So for this guy, successor is this one. And if you go to the right hand side and from any place, okay, then you will update this predecessor. Because if I ask you for this 80, like what is the predecessor and successor for 80? Successor is 100, but predecessor is 50. So when you are going to the right hand side, that time you have to update predecessor. So in that case, predecessor is going to be 50 for 80. So cool, right? So we have to maintain these two variables, predecessor and successor and keep updating when you are traversing the tree. So if you are going left, you have to update successor. If you are going right, you have to update predecessor. That's it. So just this much understanding was enough. Let's look at the code now. So this is your function. You will have root here. Predecessor is like an out parameter here. See, and successor is also out parameter. And this is the key what you're looking for. So this is your root. We'll pass 50 inside this. And let's suppose we are searching for the 50 itself. So key is also 50. Okay. For simplicity. Now see, you'll check if roots key is equal to equal to key. So this root is exactly equal to equal to key. <coughs> so I told you, right? If you found anything, like if it is equal to your number, then what you will do, you will have to find your predecessor here 
and successor here. So for predecessor, you will ch first check whether roots left exist. Then only you will go one left and then keep on going to the right, right? So we'll check that, okay, roots left does exist. Yes, it does. Then we'll take roots left into this variable and while it's right exist, we will keep going to the right, okay? So here there is only one node. So 45 will get initialized to this pre, okay? So this is our pre, which is exactly correct. And now you have to go for successor. Similarly, for successor, you have to go one right and then keep going left, right? See, we're doing the same thing. We are going to the right once and then we'll keep going to the left till the left exists. And then we'll initialize that into the successor and we'll return from here. So this is your successor, okay? So predecessor is this, successor is this. Actually, they are correct, okay? So we'll return from here, everything is cool. Now, look at the corner cases. Let's suppose this 45 is not there and my key is now 40. So I want predecessor and successor of 40. Let's see how this will go. So the moment you come inside, you will see that, okay, root is actually 50, but my key is 40. So this is not correct. I mean, this is not equal, then you will go here. My roots key is greater than key, meaning your root is greater than key. Yes, your root is 50 and your key is 40. So this is correct. You will go inside this. So these two conditions are if and else, right? If you go here, then you will not go here because either you're, you will go to the left or you will go to the right, correct? So here you're going to the left because your key is less than your roots value. So I told you, right? The moment you go to left, you have to update successor. And the moment you go to right, so this else is for right, then you have to update predecessor. That's it. And you will call yourself with roots left this time because you wanted to go to left here and here you will pass roots right because this roots value is actually less than key. Then only you'll go to the else case, right? And then rest will be taken care. So let's quickly understand this. So you went into this if root, which is 50 right now, will go into successor. So successor is 50, okay? And then you will call yourself with roots left. So roots left is 40. So now root is 40. You'll come inside this root is equal to equal to key. Yes, because this is 40 and equal to 40. Yes, you'll come inside this. Now see, your, your root is this guy, right? 40. Roots left exist. Yes, it does. Then what you will do, you will go to left and then you want to go to right, but that doesn't exist. So what you will do, you will take temp, which was initialized with 30 itself and initialize that 30 into pre. So now pre is 30. Okay. And then we are done with this. If now you'll try to go here, but you will not go. Why? Because roots right does not exist because roots right does not exist. So you will not go inside this and you will return from here. But see pre and successor, I mean, predecessor and successor are actually holding the correct values here. So for 40, you have predecessor 30 and successor 50. So let's quickly run this code and see if it is working. So I have copy pasted the exact code. Let's see. Yeah, this looks fine. And then let's submit this. Oh, good. It is working. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos.